nearly four months ago, I sat here in the vicarage and spoke of how we were closing our church building in response to the virus lockdown. Today, I'm looking at a time when we have come to a point where we are hoping to be able to reopen in a very limited way the building for public worship. We've said all along that the church is not the building. The church is a body of people. And as the body of Christ, we have continued to gather, we've continued to worship, we've continued to meet, even though we have not been in the same place. Many of you have enjoyed or taken part in our recorded services and we'll be continuing those. We're looking at ways to continue our online presence through the weeks and months to come because we recognise that for some people that's how you prefer to worship. It's what suits your life at the moment. But we also know that for some people coming into the building to be able to meet with God in a place that many people have gathered in for many years is very special. So this coming Sunday, we will be opening at 6.30 for a very limited service of public worship. And again, on Thursday, we will be doing the same thing in an identical service at 10 10 10.30. There's lots of things we can't do. We're not allowed to sing at the moment. We're not allowed to gather within the building or even in the churchyard or the car park afterwards. We have to come, worship and leave. That's not what Trinity's traditionally been about. We've loved meeting one another, greeting one another, spending time with one another in fellowship. We can't offer any children's work at the moment. And again, that's something that's been very important for our families and for those who've been involved in sharing Jesus with our children and young people. But we will gather together. We will spend time with God, praying in his word. But please don't feel that you have to come. If you are fearful or worried, stay at home. If you feel that you're happy, just continue to worship online, stay at home. But if you are able to and you would like to, please come. There will be restrictions. I've sent an email to the church family We'll need to sign in, we'll need to hand sanitise, we'll need to observe two metre distancing, all the things that we're used to in other contexts at the moment. But we will be able to, if we wish, gather and share a bit of time together in a building that is a house of prayer and has been for many years. I'm going to read some verses that just remind us that God calls us to worship him. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. We don't want anyone to come to worship fearful. We want people to come joyful and expectant of meeting with God. But we know that we can be joyful and expectant at home, We can be joyful and expectant at work. We can be joyful and expectant walking the dog out on the beach, wherever we are. We know that God longs to meet with us. And as we come to him, he welcomes us with open arms. So please pray for this limited reopening. Please pray for the future as we go forward from here. And please continue to worship God wherever you are and whatever way helps you to come close to him and to know the love of Jesus in your lives. Bless you.